Today I'm going to be showing you how I use the Ryobi rotary tools. There's two different models that I use. This super compact one, which has a very flexible cord, and this slightly larger one, which has a slightly less flexible drive shaft. I tend to use this one the most. I really like the onboard storage for all the bits, and it's really easy to control the speed. The most common application that I use this for is cutting off steel bolts. Finding bolts the perfect size can take a little bit of time, and I almost always have a bunch of extra ones that are too long for the job. And with the rotary tool, I can just put on an abrasive blade and cut the bolts really close to the nut. I can then switch to a sanding or abrasive attachment and smooth over the cut ends so that the nuts still come off cleanly. I do a lot of welding projects and the rotary tool allows me to get into cramped spaces and clean up the welds prior to painting. I'll either use a sanding or abrasive attachment or I'll use a small wire wheel. Drilling through stone and glass can be quite difficult. Not only are these materials incredibly hard, they're also brittle, which means that if you use a powerful drill and put too much pressure on it, you can actually crack the piece that you're trying to drill a hole through. I like to use a diamond abrasive bit and just slowly work it around in a circle and I can make a hole pretty much any diameter I want. This is great for jewelry projects or making cool looking organic counterweights. I even used this technique so that I could epoxy in some bolts and use natural stones as cabinet poles. I'm currently working on an installation where I'm using a whole bunch of old wine bottles to make a giant chandelier. I need to hang the bottles from the tops and the rotary tool is the perfect tool for drilling a hole through them. I approach this the same way I did the stone and I just start by making a little dent and then working the tool around in the hole until I'm all the way through. I've successfully used a regular drill and a glass drill bit to drill through plate glass, but whenever I've tried it on a bottle, the drill bit slipped off. Starting with an abrasive tool like this really helps you get some traction and create a little divot that then allows you to drill through. For kitchens and bathrooms, I prefer a large format natural stone tile. Now sometimes you need to cut these tiles to go around a piece of molding or a corner in the wall. A diamond blade on the rotary tool is a great way to do very precise detailed cutouts on natural stone. Now these days a lot of people are into resin and live edge wood projects. The rotary tool with a wood carving attachment is a great way to clean out knot holes or remove tricky pieces of bark that are stuck in live edges. Once I carve out the bark, I can then switch to a sanding bit and smooth down the edges. Now there's a lot of people working in my workshop and people are always grabbing each other's tools. So I'll give you a bonus application of the rotary tool. I like to use it to quickly personalize all of my stuff that's in a communal space. This works great on coffee mugs, and my hand tools. These are just a few applications for this incredibly versatile tool that doesn't take up a lot of space, which is also great. It's a great addition to a shop or a craft room, and it's also a very beginner-friendly tool. So check it out, and I'll see you next time.